Hello, Alexa here from alexaranian.com. Day 24 of my busking adventures, although I'm not doing any busking today. I've only done it actually once for a little bit this week. Um, I'm looking after my energy a bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, out doing a little bit of writing and drawing and thinking and clearing and um, what I thought, the reason I'm doing a video today is because there's something I want to talk about which is the receiving of criticism, whether it's constructive or not, or support and encouragement through um, putting your creative self out there. I suppose whether you're any kind of artist really, not even just the busker. I mean, if you're creating and you're putting yourself out there and sharing, then you're going to be creating all sorts of um, reactions in people that are receiving you, willingly or not. And um, yeah, I feel like talking about it because it's coming, it's starting to come up for me a bit more now. And um, thankfully, is it even important? Um, I can, I get more encouragement and support than I do criticism. Um, but it is a weird one, getting the criticism. It makes you wonder where it's coming from. But it also sort of opens your mind and gives you an idea that there are loads of different reactions out there, perspectives, and all of it's allowed. And how do you deal with that when you get it? Well, if you're a busker and you're getting the criticism whilst you're out busking, you just got to just get through it and carry on recentering and putting your heart into what you're doing. If you're getting it later through social media or, or whatever, then it's do I respond? Do I hold back? Should I respond to everything and everyone? Should I respond to just the good stuff? Should I respond to all of it? But you know, just look after your own energy and respond to where it feels right for you to. Um, I'm remembering one of the things that Jamie Cato talks about, which is when you receive criticism, just take it the whole hog, take it even further, just agree even more fully. And um, if someone says something negative and critical about you, like extend it further, really get into that thing about you, whether it feels real or not real, just like dive into it and stretch it out as far as you can. And um, the other person will join back in with you and stretch it further or just give up. <laughs> but the point is, is to not get defensive and resistant and closed off and shutting yourself down because you're receiving some negative feedback. The point is, is just to allow it to be there and to just keep doing what you love doing. I'm starting to learn that people have lots of different ideas, lots of different ideas about absolutely everything, but I'm specifically talking about busking. It's interesting. Some people see it as an artist coming out and sharing their gift and treating the the environment with that musical gift in that moment quite kind of spontaneously and then oh, they appreciate it. Other people see it as um, you the only reason that you're doing that is because you're a beggar and that you're asking for money. And then there's every perspective in between those two things. It's interesting because the different people that I'm talking to, they do it because they love doing it. Some people do it because they want to be making money from it. But what is the most important factor? What's the most important intention? For me, it's the intention. There's no point doing anything if I haven't got the intention right. And the first intention is that I'm looking after myself and caring for my own feelings and my own self, really. And what, I'm, what I've been learning through my life is that I benefit very much from being in and expressing my creative self. 
And if I don't, I can very easily contract, get depressed, struggle, freak out. But then again, at the same time, uh, expressing that creative self takes courage. It's quite vulnerable. But um, <coughs> it's all a learning process, isn't it? It's all a learning process and you get all sorts of feedback. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Let that close you down or are you just going to carry on doing what you love doing because you love doing it because it's having a positive impact even if it's having a negative impact somewhere that's still positive it's having an impact it's causing movement it's causing shifting of some kind but um, I would say like um, the guy I interviewed yesterday why I asked him what his top tip was and he said make sure you're enjoying what you're doing and um, to the love of it and that you smile and even if you can't smile which you will eventually if you know what you're doing just keep doing what you're doing regardless of the feedback maybe take some of the feedback on that if it's going to help you but the other stuff the, the heavy feedback the heavy critical feedback either let it be just let people have their opinion or take it even further like Jamie Cato says, agree fully, then there's nowhere to go. Hope I made a point there. Anyway, see you later.